Hi, my name is Michi, owner of Headlines by DeFranco Salon, Barbers by DeFranco Barbershop, and Posh Collection. Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to add extensions in a short haircut. Um, I'm going to use some blonde hair as well as some black hair to make it blend, and then I'm going to taper her sides and back down a little bit shorter just so it'll lay down nice and neat. What I've already done, as you can see, is molded the hair down, which I demonstrated in a previous tutorial on YouTube for hair molding. Um, I used the gel, the white Pronex or Sanic wraps, whatever you like to call it, and then the black stocking cap. This is to protect the hair from extreme glue and keep it from breakage. Um, you want to leave some of her natural hair out around the perimeter area where you'll be gluing because that helps kind of anchor the tracks down. If you cover the entire top with the stocking cap and they sweat or anything like that, then it can the entire thing can come off. So you want to make sure you leave some of the perimeter off to make sure that it stays down nice and secure. I'm going to be using some blonde hair, mostly blonde hair. And I'm going to go over the top with the black hair. Since her natural hair color is black, we want it to blend in. And then I'm going to make sure I taper her sides and back down nice and neat. And what you want to do is make sure you leave some hair out around the edges. Because you always want it to look natural. So that way if she wants to kind of lift it up. You won't see any tracks. And then I left enough out on the side because we're going to use some of this hair to cover up the tracks that we're going to be sewing, or I'm sorry, that we're going to be gluing in. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually taper her down first. And after I taper her down, then I'm going to go in and glue the tracks in. The order that you do it in is of your preference. It doesn't matter. You can glue the tracks in first and then taper, or you can taper first. When you're tapering hair down, you always want to start off using like a larger guard. Just in case they have thin hair, you don't want to cut too much off. So you want to start off by just cutting a little bit at a time, and then if you can possibly cut more off, then go down to a smaller guard. The guards and the clippers allow a cleaner cut versus going through it and using the shears. So if you haven't used the, the guards or the clippers before, I recommend that you start practicing with them because it will make your job of cutting so much faster and easier. And I want her bottom a little lower, so I'm going to go in with a smaller guard. Now I'm just going to go in with my razor because I don't want to take any more off the top with the clippers. So I want it to kind of blend in. So I'm just going to go in with my razor and just blend this in. The clippers will take too much off so the razor allows me just to go in and take off exactly what I need. When you're using the razor you don't want to press hard. You want to be gentle to avoid cutting any ball spots in the client's head. going to line her up
Okay, now I'm done tapering her hair. And I left a little bit of fullness right here because once again, this is the hair we're going to use to cover her tracks. We're going for a nice thick swing bang. So you want to make sure when you're putting your tracks in that you take them toward the front. That'll give her a nice swoop in the front. And we're just going to continue laying the tracks the same way and putting them really close together so it'll be nice and full. Now, if her natural hair was blonde, the same color as the weave, I would use white glue. But since we're going on top of it with black hair, it really doesn't matter which color glue you choose to use. Okay, so now we have all the tracks glued in. And I'm just gonna comb that over to cover up her tracks. And now I'm gonna go in with the razor because that's what I like to use when I'm cutting my weaves. I'm gonna go in with the razor and shape it and then we're gonna curl it and then we'll be all set. I'm not quite sure what length I want it yet, but I'm just going to kind of go in and freestyle until I get to a length that I like. I think I want it a little bit past her ear. so her cut is pretty much set I'm gonna start styling her and if there's anything that I want to take off then I can take it off once I start setting her curls I'm just gonna go in with the thinning shears and just take a little bit of this thickness out of here Okay, so I'm just going to smooth her natural hair out a little bit just to blend. I like a soft look so I don't really use like the smaller curls unless the client requests it. Okay, so there you have it. We're all set. My client's quick weave is finished. This is something that's quick, easy, and simple for a client who wants to transition from a short look to maybe a longer or medium length. It's also good for clients who are trying to let their hair grow out and their natural hair may not be in a style. You could just do a, a partial quick weave, add a few tracks, and give them a totally different look. Again, my name is Michi. You can follow me on IG at Mad About Michi. 
you can go to my website iloveposhcollection.com to purchase any posh products we have lipsticks a full makeup line as well as hair products if you're a stylist because i notice i have a lot of stylists that follow me or watch my youtube videos you guys as soon as you're done what you need to do is create a facebook page if you don't already have one an ig page and any other social media pages um, if you are a current hairstylist or you're inspiring to be a hairstylist, the number one thing you want to do in this business is market yourself. And right now, social media is a free way to put your name out there and put your styles out there. So anything that you see that I do on YouTube, I need you guys to go to IG. And if you try the hairstyle, tag me at Mad About Michi so I can take a look at it and give you your props. Thanks again for watching my channel. Oh, 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 oh,